Hi all, this is Jamie at PMR. Uh, it's another spin test. This is uh, an Akios 656. It is the center mag, all singing, all dancing, tournament casting setup. Except Jez, who's real this is, or who it's going to, is going to fish with it. That's what I like to see. So it's as fast as it will go if you were using this on a tournament field. But this one has a great big mag in it. So with a great big mag all the way out and Ooh. I'm going to have to do that again because I really messed up that time, didn't I? Yeah. OK, here we go. Now, while that's spinning away, I will tell you that the mag that's in there well, the mag holder that's in there has two 10mm by 3mm magnets in the disc. Um, quite a strong setup, in actual fact. It's the, the uh, penultimate strongest setup that I do. I'm guessing with the mag all the way out, this is going to spin for about a minute. Uh, with the mag in, it'll be quite a lot shorter. Then I'm going to remove the mag holder completely and do a free spin test and we'll see what that'll do as well. One minute, ten seconds. Okay, right. As you can see, the mag depth indicator is here. So now, I'm going to wind that all the way in. Like that, make sure it's still free. And we'll spin it again. Well, that was about seven seconds. We'll do that again. Did it a bit harder this time. And that's with the mag in seven or eight seconds. And last but not least, what we're now going to do is one demonstrate how easy it is to change the mag holder with this system. And two, we're going to take the mag right out, completely out. And then we're going to give it another spin. Okay, out we come. And yes, this does have ceramic bearings in it. There's the mag. And that's the mag depth indicator, which is knurled so that you can, if you can see this, so you can undo it if you want to change it for a, a different mag setup. And we're getting blurred there and then you take that and give that a flick and off it comes and then you put the next one in. So I'm going to put this back on without any mags in it at all which you could do you could simply take the, the mags out and fish it or cast it without any mags at all which means you would have to rely on your end float which is that break there or your where's the hole or your um, uh, what am I thinking about or your centrifugal brakes it's four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm about to go fishing so Brain's not quite with it this morning. This afternoon, rather. See what I mean? Right, what we're going to do now, I'm going to do another spin test with it. Except this time, as I said before, there isn't any... There aren't any mag brakes. Okay. Here we go.
Oh, hang on. We have a a wayward piece. Let's do that again. Okay. Well, as you can see from the timer coming up and going past the minute. Now coming up past the two minute mark, might make three minutes. Looks like we're actually going to go past the three minute mark. That's the best one yet. Although Jim, if you're watching, that's Jim in uh, New Zealand. Yours span for one minute 45 seconds with your brakes on the uh, minimum. This one only span for uh, over a minute with the brakes on the minimum. Although these brakes are slightly more than yours. Um, I would say that it's a about a par for the course and uh, as I didn't take your mag out on yours Jim I'd say it would be about equal three and a half minutes can't say fairer than that until next time this is Jamie from PMR saying I'll see you on YouTube